you want to be. Those people who help change their country. I want people never to forget who they are from their historical backgrounds to their cultural heritage. Local can be great, local can be of value, local can be exceptional, local can be well done. The fashion business is bursting at the seams with new entrants every day. To make a name as a fashion designer, you need a keen eye and lots of ingenuity. In Kampala, we find a fashion designer whose clothes are setting trends in Uganda and beyond. I love making clothes for my friends because they are, they are curvy and I love clothes that hold curves and bring out everything. My name is Fatuma Asha and I'm a fashion designer. I started designing for as long as I can remember. From when I was six years, I used to design clothes for my dolls, could cut out pieces out of my granny's gomeses. And she never used to like that. She could just see her gomez gone. The next thing she could see me wearing shorts out of, made out of her gomez. But she wanted more than just turning her grandmother's clothes into shorts. She enrolled at Makere University, Margaret Travel School of Industrial and Fine Arts, to finesse her skills. This is where the magic started. During my second year in the university, my boyfriend, who is my baby's father now, bought me a sewing machine. Because he could hear me say, I want a sewing machine, I want a sewing machine. So he buys me this machine on my birthday, just find it in my room. It was so nice having my own sewing machine. That's when it began, the professional part of it. Fatuma Asha loves to break rules with daring designs that people have come to expect. Surprisingly, her inspiration is not so far-fetched. I normally derive my inspiration from fabrics. When I look at people, I always look at their clothes and I'm looking at the fabric they're wearing. And I'm thinking I could do this with that. I love using hard fabric because it's so easy to structure with them. I love structured outfits, like big puffy sleeves, big collars and uh, uh, structured chests and bars. And I love using draping fabrics as well, like lycra, soft cotton and chiffon. I love chiffon very much. And I love velvet as well because it is so slicky and very sexy. This is where I buy most of my fabrics from. This shop specifically, I buy from all the other shops, but I buy most of my fabrics from this shop. This lady has a really good taste, very, very good taste, and she has fabrics that have that uh, texture and durable. They're not fake. Today I'm looking for something that drapes really well on the body, something that is easy to wear, something that can be made within a short period of time, something that can just be thrown on the body. So I'm looking at different things, but I'm uh, specifically looking at lycra. Lycra is a very stretchy fabric. This is lycra. It can come in floral, it can come in straps, it can come in planes. So I'm looking at this and this, between the two. Fatuma says remarkable designs don't stop at how tasteful a garment looks, but also how it makes an individual feel. Her creations are hinged on this idea. She wants to make every woman feel sexy in her clothes. I love showing skin. I like it when a woman shows skin. I believe every woman is sexy. It depends on where a client is comfortable showing. They can show the leg and not show the chest. If you show the chest, you do not show the back. If you show the back, you do not show. But at least something has to show. Maybe a small pickable something. A lot of people confuse sexy with slutty, but there is a very, very huge line between the two. So I try to make it sexy without being too slutty, unless a client wants it slutty. <laughs> Did I spoil it? No, 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 no. With tons of women smiling and feeling sexy about themselves, it wasn't long before she was a hit.
My biggest breakthrough came when I made a dress for a friend. She was going for a Brian's Thailand Fashion Awards. Then I made her this dress that won the best dress of the year. That's when people started recognizing me and respecting me as a designer. It made such a big impact on me and my fashion. Fatuma rode the wave of that defining moment and established herself as one of Uganda's freshest fashion designers. She now commands a huge following with a few admirers following in her footsteps. I love working with her because I learn a lot of things from her. Things I never knew I would learn. Her designs are different. She's good at changing everything. It's not always the same. It's not the same as you see outside there. Hers is different. Everyone loves different. Fatuma Usher's fashion house has expanded rapidly to make room for a big clientele base. Right now we're heading to Kavalagala to my ready to wear shop. It specifically sells my clothes. Just Fatuma Asha, ready to wear. I could normally get clients that want things, clothes, and I could not deliver in a very short period of time, so I opened that shop for them. If you want something and I cannot deliver, you have to go to the shop and see if you can find something you like. What I love about Fatuma's work mainly is the finishing. She's very good. Her finishing is perfect. Like you'd hardly see a thread out of place. Her trimmings, her hemming, everything is just perfect. With design, she does everything. She does red carpet, she does uh, bridal, she does African, she does couture. So anything you need, she, she can do it. She's not scared of others coming up and being as good because she knows she has her touch that sets her apart from the rest. So she's always ready to share what she knows. I want to open a good fashion school in Uganda because most of the questions I get in my inbox is, do you teach fashion? I want to be like you. I want to cut like you. I want to do all these things like you. But most of the things I do, as much as I study theory, are self-taught. Because most of the things they teach these kids in school, it doesn't add up to what is supposed to be done like on bodies. Because they are taught using Western books and it's not easy using the same measurements as the Western books put it to apply to African bodies. You know we have two sizes, small up, big down, so it kind of becomes complicated when they fit clothes. Fatima's love for the Ugandan fashion industry is evident. She believes sharing knowledge with upcoming designers is what will create a diverse and progressive atmosphere in the fashion business. I want to be remembered as not a mean designer, because most designers are mean. When you ask something, how did you cut that, they will not tell you. They want to be that kind of person that has contributed to almost all the upcoming designers' growth. If you want to know something, I will tell it to you. We will tell you something else. A magician never reveals her secrets, but we managed to pull one out of her sleeve. Please, please, please. Iron your clothes. I have to emphasize that. Please iron your clothes when you're stitching. Don't wait to finish the gown and then you iron it. Iron when you're stitching. Iron. You'll see a difference in your work. And for the men who are looking to buy a Fatuma Asha. I do not make clothes for men because they don't even buy clothes, first of all. They wear one shirt in like three years. So... It makes my business hard. And another thing, I can't do guys' clothes because they are boring. It's just a shirt. Maybe dress it a little, maybe do that. Boring, I don't do for guys. Yes, it's the truth. But it's the truth. <laughs> How long have you had that shirt you're wearing? A few months. Sure. And yours? And yours? Six years. Ah. <laughs> you want to inherit it.